That's why most kids like this soup. Before you watch my movie recommendation, don't forget to subscribe and like. Oh. Hey, what's up? Halloween is coming. What's your costume? I have this idea. Okay, you better choose now. Chef, is there any Halloween food in Korea? Well, the Halloween is not Korean traditional culture, but I can use the pumpkin, which is so famous about Halloween. I can make this Korean pumpkin soup, so quick and simple. But that does not look like Halloween. So you want something look like Halloween concept? Um. Okay, easy. I can make something for my kids. So let's get started. Before make pumpkin soup, we need to make eyeballs. In Korea, we call it seya, means bird eggs. I prepare flour, rice flour, salt, sugar, and hot water, and mix it with spatula. The reason why I use hot water because hot water denatures the protein in the flour and make dough tender. Once all ingredients are mixed well, use a hand and make round the bowl shape. Wrap it tightly and rest about 2 hours. While the resting, we can prepare a pot with steamer inside, put parchment paper and make small holes around for better steaming inside of pot. Now, put dough out. Let me show you how elastic it has become. Cut into half, roll long shape, and divide into small size. I usually make half size of this. But today, I have to make eyeballs for Halloween, so extra big size. Bring steaming pot and place rice cake inside. Then steam for 5 to 7 minutes. Next, let's make pumpkin soup. First recipe is easy traditional one. Prepare pumpkin, this seed, cut into chunk cubes, put into the pot, Add water enough to cover, boil until it becomes soft. Put into the blender and add steamed rice and blend well. Don't forget to open lid. Pour back into the pot and add sugar. This is optional, depends on sweetness of pumpkin or you can use honey too. Now, put rice cake bowl into the soup and plate nicely. Enjoy! We have to make second recipe, which is my version of pumpkin soup, aka hobakjuk. This is the pumpkin and cut into the chunk again. Put into the bowl, wrap tightly, and cook in the microwave for about 7 minutes. Or you can use oven if you want. Now, prepare stove and pot. Melt butter and add rice flour. Once butter and rice flour cooked enough, add cream. Put soft pumpkin and water. Put into the blender and blend. By opening lid, you can let steam out from the blender body and prevent it exploding. Back into the pot and reduce until the soup becomes thick enough. And put into the bowl. Sprinkle roasted walnut around. Now, I prepare nori to make eyeballs. Cut into soccer shape. Put nori on the rice cake. Look like eyeball. How do you think? Now blood. Oh don't worry, I don't use real blood of course. I use homemade omegran syrup. I really want to throw pentagram and sucker, but it was so hot. Finally, place eyeballs. Extra freezer of blood. This is funny Halloween food. Funny but easy and healthy, even less allergy. And for vegan with traditional recipe. Now enjoy! So today we made another episode video, which is Hobakju. The pumpkin soup in English. So this is traditional one. This is my version for the decoration for my kids, especially for Halloween day. So let me try original one first. Mm. Mm. The pumpkin is quite sweet and nice. Especially I use the steamed rice for thickening and texture and flavor is really similar to my grandma's one. And this rice cake, in Korea we usually use half size or smaller But today, I want to make this funny eyeball for my kids So I make this big size, so please understand Now, let me try my version mm. It's definitely more smooth and creamy, but still have a really nice sweet flavor And at the same time, roasted nut just upgrade the flavor of soup, especially nutty flavor from the butter. Mmm, try this at home. I'm sure you will love it. Before you watch my movie recommendation, don't forget to subscribe and like. Good choice, horror movie recommendation.
Guys, actually, I'm a huge fan of a horror movie. I cannot count how many horror movies I have watched so far. And I think that there are many good Korean movies that I want to recommend you, not just Parasite. So this is my best Korean horror movie, top 3. Number 3. The Wailing. Korean title is Gokseong. It is about what happening to a small village in the mountain called Gokseong. After Japanese stranger arrived to the village, a mysterious infection break out and people become crazy and kill own families. Quite scary concept, huh? And the policeman, who is main character of the movie, has a little daughter infected the same symptom and tried to solve the problem to save her own daughter. If you are interested in Korean shamanism or demon, I strongly recommend this movie to you. Number 2, The Phone in 2002. This movie is about haunted mobile phone number and female journalist G1. Yes, this is quite similar to American movie 976 Evil or One Missed Call from Japan. But the concept of story and style of a movie are totally different. Just watch, you will know. By the way, it says we all use smartphone, it's like small computer in hand. So ghost or demon must be smart or intelligent enough to control those Android or Apple system with lots of app. Quite tough job, isn't it? Finally, the number one, Haunted Asylum. Korean name is Gonji An. This movie is about internet live stream show going to famous haunted place. In the movie, they went to haunted asylum in Korea, place called Gonjiam, and faced the ghost who was mental patient. I know some people may think that this movie is really similar to American horror movie Grave Encounters, and I totally agree. Actually, both movies are really similar. Look like one copy or another. The difference is one is Korean with internet live stream, and another one is American with TV show, pretty much. The movie looks so real, so enough to make you scared so much. I think it is fun to watch both and compare between Western ghosts and Korean ghosts.